Yeah, guys, welcome back to Great America. Should be a short video today. Um, my main goal is to ride Sky Striker during the Legacy membership preview, which I still have. Still haven't seen a cycle. Overall, the park is pretty quiet. The parking lot's pretty busy, but I think that's just because the water park pretty empty midways in general. Definitely not very hot today, but uh, I expected there to be some sort of fanfare line for this. It kind of doesn't really look like it. Two minutes before it's supposed to open and uh, there's a decent line, but hopefully this should have decent capacity, so uh, we'll be fine. Nice. This is ride time. Still not a sign, it's kind of fun. Well, they've let people in. I think we'll have our first uh, semi-public ride soon. I think I'm gonna have to ride Eagle Blue today. I haven't been here since it's been open. Here we are. Good luck. It's like uh, this is the temporary queue set up, set up with some uh, shade structures, kind of. We are first public riders. Looks like the queue's set up to basically shuttle guests on either side here. And they also give you numbers for um, what seat you're supposed to sit in. Review wow. Sky Striker. So cool and stuff. I wish I could ride it 24 7. The restraints kind of suck, but the ride's overall pretty good. In my opinion. My humble opinion. You're everything but humble, Josh. True that. Overall, Sky Striker was a fantastic ride. I thought that the max swings were just incredible. And. One of the benefits and drawbacks of the ride is just how long it takes to get up to and then back down from the max swings. You just kind of keep going higher and higher and higher and you seriously feel like you're upside down on the max swings. Those are it's a really incredible experience. Now, the entire ride isn't perfect. Obviously, the capacity on it is not going to be great. Cycle took about five and a half minutes let's say 90 seconds for loading, which is generous. We're looking at like 300 to 400 people an hour, which is not a lot. The good news is that when the line does move, it moves, moves quick um, with 40 people on the ride, but hopefully they can get that cycle time down. The restraints also aren't my favorite. They're the same Zamperla over the shoulder, hard restraints, but they are very similar to King Chaos where they actually use air pressure to push them down and they can push down very hard. For me, I'm six foot, and it really, really presses down on my shoulder. One of my shorter friends said it really pushed down on his stomach. Overall, it's a tolerable position, but it's certainly not one that I would want to be stuck in for an extended period of time. Speaking of being stuck in places for extended periods of time, uh, the ride also has a lot of reliability issues right now. When I rode on Friday, it... They send out one functional cycle, and then it, there was about an hour of downtime. And then the ride reopened, sent two more cycles, and then was down for another 45 minutes. So there's still a lot more kinks to figure out, and the entire just ride area needs to be uh, finished up. Like, the, there's no shade structure. They put up these <laughs> the foldable tents um, instead of a normal shade structure. It feels like that they're rushing to get this ride open just because it is the new ride and they want uh, their newest ride to be open before uh, the 4th of July, unlike Max Force. With all that said, it was still an incredible ride experience and really, assuming the line isn't too long, I think it's going to become a must-ride attraction for me 
at the park. It really just has some incredible views, some incredible sensations, high positive Gs, airtime. You feel like you're getting hang time with inversions and whatnot. I'd probably give it an, a 9 out of 10. Honestly, if they sped up the dispatches and had the same restraints that Top Thrill 2 does, uh, it'd be a perfect 10 out of 10. I don't know what you could improve uh, past that. It's really another standout flat ride for a park that needed another standout flat other than the drop tower or whatever. Thank you very much for watching. I'll uh, catch you in the next one.